using AI in the real world and specifically the insurance industry. It's been long regarded as the holy grail of customer service, risk and operations management. Well, there's still a long way to go, but I'm going to be exploring aspects of insurance to find applicable use cases. For today, I want to create two real world scenarios. One, training material for your team or external affiliates to help them understand your product. And two, a comparative product overview of two contents policies you sell or work with. We're going to use custom GPTs for repeatability and then package it up into a document. The use case is solution using ChatGPT, the paid version. We're going to be building a simple chatbot that uses your policy wording and develop training material for your staff, your brokers, affiliates, and anybody else that might be interested. All right, remember, you should always proofread outputs that have come from any AI tools. Don't just click it, copy and paste and send it out. That's not good practice, in, especially in the risk industry. All right. Um, so today we're going to be creating training material with your policy wording. I found some publicly available insurance policy wordings that will work. They're in PDF. They're not formatted for GPT whatsoever, and it will work for your company documentation. So let's give it a go. Okay, so what we're going to do is log into ChatGPT, sign up for the plus version if you haven't already got it and um, you'll obviously be presented with a page like this. So what we're gonna do is go into our GPTs and what we're gonna do is create our own custom GPT. All right, so we're gonna go to explore and we're going to choose our GPTs over here and create a new GPT. As you can see, I've been playing around with it and um, found some pretty awesome use cases here. All right, so we're gonna click on create a GPT all right, and this is going to be the interface that's going to allow you to create repeatable GPTs for you and your organization. And the reason I'm showing you the GPT Builder one is because uh, you don't want to have to go and look through your search history or your prompt history. Basically create this once, tweak it, refine it, and continue to use it um, moving into the future. All right, so what are we going to basically do here? So we're going to say create, and um, it's basically telling you how to do it. So make a creative who generates visuals or anything like that. And what would you like me to make? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ask it to make a training material based on our policy wording. So I've got a prompt written over here. Um, I will create these prompts and link them up to a website so you can go and grab them over there. All right. So what we want to do is create a training material pack for and let's choose our document. So I've got a couple of documents that I downloaded. Um, insurance policy. So let's do the Aon insurance policy. And let's just open it up just so you can see what it looks like. All right. And as you can see over here, it is a formatted or non-formatted PDF or formatted PDF, not for GPT, obviously. Um, and it will basically tell you and ultimately give you the uh, policy wording so pretty standard policy wording in the insurance industry and this is what I'm going to be using so let's just close that off all right so the a on document all right and what you can do now is hit send message all right so what it's going to ask you now is name this GPT so what we're going to call it is an a on course creator uh, does this name work for you um, let's say my internal contents course so as you can see here what it's doing is it's basically building up a um, AI engine that's going to interact with your documentation I'll show you now how to upload it it's almost a bit crazy AI building AI uh, could be quite scary but um, again low risk um, opportunity here so I think this is fine all right, so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna create a picture for you. Do you like this particular picture? I'm just gonna say, yes, that's fine. All right, so as you can see over here on the right-hand side in the preview, it's now already starting to create a GPT that's going to start doing and asking what you would like of it. All right, so now can you refine the context and more? Can you tell me about any specific topics or with emphasize? This will help it make sure that it focuses on your relevant concerns. All right, so before we do that, let's just go to configure. And what we wanna do is upload files. 
all right and then what we can do is enable some of these other things over here so let's go upload files and then choose the Aeon policy all right so conversations with your GPT may include file contents files can be downloaded when the content code interpreter is enabled all right so we don't really want web browsing so let's just turn that one off um, we don't really want content or image creation so let's turn that off and we said that we wanted code interpreter um, analyze data work with your files that you've uploaded and more so keep the code interpreter on all right and what you can do now is save just go only to me for the time being say only to me all right and now what you can do is you've now got a very basic chat GPT GPT style creating training material for Aon with easy to understand content and policy uh, wording all right so design a course introduction for Aon newbies create a scenario to illustrate the policy wording explain the industry exclusions and draft self tests on Aon policies so what we can do now is just to modify this a little bit edit the GPT all right so if you want to start refining it a little bit more what you can now do is have a look at the configure space all right so my internal contents was specializes in creating training materials for and documents design comprehensive courses for new employees etc etc all right and these are the conversation starters that are going to appear on the right hand side over here let's just move myself out of the way all right so design a course etc all right so if you wanted to add anything further to this what you can do is just say here yeah, you can sort of refine it after you've created it and if you wanted to create extra headings or anything like that what you can do is just create extra headings all right so let's just say save all right and let's test it out all right so what we're going to do is click on the gpt and here's your gpt that you've just created all right so what we're going to say here is design a course introduction for aon newbies so let's just say here um yeah let's do that let's click on that one over here so now as you can see what we've done is we've created a generic sort of template and what you could do is create this even more generically saying hey choose the file that you would like um all right you can see over here is ultimately it's creating the course content for you and ultimately going to be a um output that you can take from for your team copy and paste this into a word document and um, move from there so let's do that so let's go here and copy this and we'll open up word okay so we'll just format that a little bit but as you can see it's made some pretty pretty um, fast work of that all right so now what we can do is start chatting with it a bit more all right so now we want to say here um, Let's actually go back to the GPT just so we can have a look over here and just say um, explain insurance policy ex exclusions in simple terms. All right. All right. So let's go. So what we're going to do is let's go create training material on all the exclusions and provide scenarios on what is covered and not covered. All right, so as you can see here, it's making short work of it. All right, so really simple, really uh, compelling um, outputs that it's created over here. All right, now we obviously need somebody to proofread this and tidy it up a little bit, but again, some of the hard work has already been done for you. And what we can do now is scenario number two, which is basically to compare the two products together. Again, very similar um, process that we went through to create the GPT. Uh, we're going to upload our files and we're going to ultimately compare two products um, for our brokers or our affiliates so that they can quickly understand it all right so let's go back to explore create a custom gpt all this and make training material that shows the difference between two policy wordings to give a intermediary or a broker as a summary to have with a client conversation all right make the points of cover um, and exclusions clear and compelling tabular view and note this is not financial advice and underwriting rules apply all right so again we want to try and create something that's relatively generic and something that's repeatable and usable so let's go here all right so as you can see over here on the right hand side it's already got a preview so create clear tabular training material for insurance policy differences 
All right, so compare two insurance policies for me, create training sheet on the exclusions, summarize the key points of a policy, etc. All right, so here's the logo. And do we like it? Yes, we like that logo. All right, so now it's asking you to get clarification if it detects ambiguity. All right, so what it's going to do now is if it's training material, it's going to create a bit more verbose. But we don't want that. We want it just to just be for advertorial purposes and somebody who can just quickly read it off when they're in front of a customer or a client. All right, so now what we're going to do is go configure and ultimately upload some knowledge base articles. All right, so we'll use the same one. So we'll do the Aon contents policy and we will do the state contents policy and click on upload. All right, so those are two being, uh, being uploaded now. So let's turn off the web browsing. Let's turn off Dell E. And what we can do over here is we can ultimately save it. So let's move me out of the way. Only me. All right, so what we can do here is uh, create advert. Let's just create a tabular. view of the products benefits for my two policy wordings. Side by side. All right, so what it's done is it's ultimately created a nice uh, summary table over here of what's covered, what's not covered for the two different products that I asked for. What you can do now is just go in and double check this information that it is correct before you obviously shoot it out. But what we can do now is pop this into a uh, design template and you can pop it into something like Canva or into a Word document and or even PowerPoint. And you can now um, ultimately create your um, information pack that you would like to pass on to your broker or to your clients um, uh, or your affiliates that you're looking to to market with. All right, so that's um, that's pretty much the two use cases that I had for you. And hopefully you find a lot of value out of this. And again, this is I've, I've just shown you two simple scenarios here. You can probably adapt this for multiple other things. And um, good luck. Drop me a message or drop me a comment if you'd like a bit more information about prompting and about how to get things going. And happy to take those questions. So good luck and catch you later.